hopefully one of the positive things that's going to come out of this global fiasco is that it will put an end to Keynesianism once and for all, that we can take every single economic textbook that references this man or any of his ideas and burn them and put them in the trash can of history where they belong. And right. What risks and rights do you want to assume? Do you want to take your chances that the Keynesians are right, that the inflationists are right, that the socialists and the Marxists and the central planners are right? If that's what you want to put your faith in, then hold on to U.S. dollars. But if you want to put your faith in the free markets and capitalism, if you believe in, in the principles of Adam Smith, if you believe in the founding fathers and what made this country great, then you need to get out of dollars. You need to get out of them right now. Website. I mean, you can read all the Austrians. And everybody should read Henry Hazlitt's book, Economics in One Lesson. You know, uh, you, know you, you should read my father's book, The Biggest Con, if you can get a copy of it. But there's some good books that I, that I, that I recommend from the Austrian school, Economics, you know, from uh, Murray Rothbard, uh, Von Mises, from Hyatt, Batiste. I mean, there are a lot of other writers who wrote about real economics, and if you understand, then you'll understand how an economy works. Unfortunately, all the modern-day economists who work in government, who work on Wall Street, uh, follow Keynes, Keynesianism, and, 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 and what they know is nonsense. And, you know, they're almost like, I've looked at it like Keynesianism is like being a witch doctor, you know, in medicine. And, and so they're, here they are, the country is sick, and what, what they, they're sprinkling some dust on it. they got like little two-two-peas, and they're, they're hitting, you know, nothing's going to help. <laughs>